this lecture we'll be starting how we can find the linearized equation motion of the aircraft. So let me write the heading linearized equation of motion of the aircraft. Before we proceed, let me rewrite the trim flight condition of the longitudinal equation because it will be required while deriving the uh, state stress model. So the trim flight condition condition for the longitudinal motion Um, we had x naught minus mg sine theta naught equal to m u naught dot z naught plus mg cos theta naught equal to m double naught dot and m not equal to zero and let me define this equation number one now we'll start uh, to find the part of equation of motion of the original equation uh, the force equation in the longitudinal motion force along the x-axis will start let to begin with Considering forces along in the x axis or x direction, we can write x minus mg sine theta equal to m u dot plus u w minus r v. Now if we write this equation in part of from we can write so if we substitute uh, here yeah, x equal to x naught plus del x and theta equal to theta naught plus del theta and u equal to u naught plus del u q equal to q naught plus del q and w equal to w plus del w and r equal to r naught plus del r and v equal to v naught plus del v so this is basically the first term indicates the reference model and the second term the part of variable and if you substitute these terms in the equation 2 we can get substituting or writing writing the equation 2 in reference and part of variables part of variables we can write x naught plus del x minus mg sine theta naught plus del theta equal to into d dt u naught plus del u plus q naught plus del q and into w naught plus del w minus r naught plus del r into v 
थ्री नॉट प्लस डेल थ्री एंड इफ यू इग्नोर द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वॉट आर वेरिएबल्स एंड इफ यू एज्यूम द ड्रीम फ्लाइट कंडीशन ओके लेट मी राइट ड्यूरिंग ड्यूरिंग ड्रीम फ्लाइट we know that p not equal to 0 the side velocity of the reference model model should be 0 p not equal to 0 q not equal to 0 and r not equal to 0 and neglecting the products of disturbances here basically the terms like for example del q into del w or the other terms like del r del v some these terms dot dot, dot So we are neglecting these terms because the the magnitude of these terms are very small. As these terms, these are small. So after introducing this condition in equation number, let me write equation number uh, three. Yields. We can write x not plus del x minus m z sine theta not plus del theta equal to m u not dot plus m del u dot plus m del q w dot and uh, we can further write this expression if you extend this sine theta not plus del theta the we know that sine a plus b we can write uh sine a cos b plus uh, cos a sine b so if you write in this if you extend this expression in this form so we can write x not plus del x Minus m z sine theta not cos del theta plus cos theta not sine del theta equal to we can write m u not dot uh, plus m del u plus m del q omega not further we can write x not plus del x minus m z sine theta not uh, cos del theta minus m z cos theta not sin del theta equal to m u not dot plus m del u plus m del q omega not uh, let's write this equation number 4 our main motivation is you have to find the expression in terms of what a variable form.
the rate of change of water variable. And our motivation is how we can uh, uh, how we can neglect or reduce the perturbation with some control. Okay. Uh, if you assume further, if you assume further, if you assume if you assume the perturbations. Or small uh, for this condition, we can write uh, cos del theta equivalent to one uh, sine del theta equivalent. We can write del theta for the small value of del theta in this condition and equation. Four can be yields to be yields to be. We can write x naught plus del x minus m z sine theta naught minus m z del theta cos theta naught equal to m two naught dot plus m del u dot plus m del q omega naught say w dot here we're going to use the equation number one the trim condition of the aircraft of the longitudinal motion of the aircraft so if you consider here if you notice here x naught mz x naught minus mg sine theta naught actually m u naught dot. So we can replace here this expression x naught minus mg x naught minus mg theta naught we can replace by u m u naught dot we can replace. So using this equation number 5 using using equation 1, equation 5 uh, can be written as you write m u naught dot plus del x minus m z del theta cos theta naught equal to m u naught dot plus m del u dot plus m del q omega naught and uh, this two term can be both set can be neglect so we can write del x minus m z del theta cos theta naught equal to m del u dot plus m del q double dot. So if you notice in this equation our part of variable we wrote the equation in terms of part of variable basically and we have to come up with the expression left hand side should be the del u form and the right hand side should be the list of the part of terms okay we'll proceed uh, let's proceed and here we need to assumption another assumption let's write the assumption if we align align the body axis body x axis along the direction of your planes velocity vector in that case we can write w naught will be zero so this is basically stability axis we can write 
So in this condition, equation six, equation six for the above the assumption. Equation six can be written as can write del x minus mg del theta cos theta naught equal to m del u dot. Let me define this equation number seven. Now we have to see how this part of force is going to generate in the x body axis. This is very, very important. And here basically we will come up with the concept of contour also. Now let me write the force LX. Because of this del x, the system has been part up to del u form. The velocity has been changed to del u. The force del x is the change, change in aerodynamic and propulsive force, propulsive forces. Because already you have discussed that x actually the total force which is coming from the aerodynamic and propulsive forces mm. and del x is the change in the aerodynamic propulsive force in the body body x axis or x direction we can write and this delta x or del x can be written in Taylor series form and can be expressed by Taylor series in terms of uh, in terms of perturbation variable. Perturbation variables. So let me let us write. So del x will be function of del u, the part of variable in velocity along x axis, del w, del q, and del e, delta del e, and capital delta del t. So here, if we write, let me write this. And also, this expression also, you can write del x by del u into delta u plus del x del w. This is how we can write in Taylor series expansion, delta w and delta x, sorry, del x by del q delta q plus del x del delta e into delta delta e plus del x del delta t delta So these are the, the these terms actually. And this is called stability derivatives. These terms, these terms actually called stability derivatives. That is, if you look in control theory perspective, these are the basically Jacobian matrix in Taylor series expansion. Okay, let me write here. This is basically Taylor series expansion, this expression. So now uh, let me denote this equation number eight. So here delta del E and 
delta del t are the quarter vision variables in the elevator input and section of maximum thrust. Uh, here I should not note down. So these are basically delta E elevator deflection. So this causes to deflect the body from the reference point to different point. And if it is going to control the delta x term, this delta x, then we can say this is the favorable control input to the system, which is going to control delta x or which can control indirectly actually we are controlling the delta u dot. So how we can make time rate change of delta u to zero with the application of the delta s this control input and part of the and the maximum thrust. So we'll be looking while designing the control algorithm. So for the time being this delta x we can write in this terrestrial expansion and where delta delta e the del e and delta del t are the elevator input and maximum thrust, fraction of the maximum thrust, which is going to generate delta x. And the other also Jacobian matrix involved here due to which the delta x can be generated. Let me write for the del x and del u and del x del w del x del q del x del delta e and del x del delta t represent the stability derivatives this can be uh, found from the wind tunnel testing basically which are evaluated at the steady state value. Basically, these are the matrices if you look and you know, generally if you remember while studying of the state space representation, we considered the Taylor series expansion of the system of the pendulum system. This is the value of this expression at the equilibrium point or the stream values, this is what we have done for the pendulum system. Now, on the aerodynamic forces in a moment, the aerodynamic forces and moments can be expressed as a function of function of all motion variables. However, generally we're gonna you almost all variables are involved to generate this uh, force and moments, but we'll be using which are which contributed most. So we can write however. In this equation, equations only the terms that are usually significant, significant have been considered have been retained.
the effect of also we can also we can have another assumption in equation 7 equation 8 actually we can write equation 8 there's another assumption is the effect of the effect of uh, pitch rate q on the x and the x the force which is basically x naught plus del x is negligible because they are in the same direction we can say that yeah. i mean uh, we are assuming the rate along the y-axis to be zero we are assuming and that's why the effect of the force along x direction will be negligible and therefore therefore the above equation the equation uh therefore the equation a no the equation Seven get reduced to and reduces to. We can write del x del u del u delta u plus del x del w delta w minus sorry plus del x del x del delta e delta i plus del x del delta t del delta t minus mc del theta cos theta naught equal to a delta u dot. So this is the expression we are getting from equation 7 and 8. And if you rearrange this expression again, we can write m. If you combine this expression and this expression and this expression, we can write d dt. We can write minus del x del u. We can write del delta u minus del x del w w plus m z del theta plus theta naught equal to we can write del x del delta e delta e plus del x del delta t delta dt and uh, this expression if you divide a mass of the aircraft on both sides, you can write del delta t uh, minus 1 upon m del x del u uh, into delta u minus 1 upon m del x del w del w plus z um, z del theta cos theta naught mm, equal to 1 upon m mm, del x del delta e del delta del e plus 1 upon m del x del delta t delta delta e and if you denote, if you denote, uh, denote, uh, x u equal to 
वन अपॉन एम डेल एक्स डेल यू एंड एक्स डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू एक्स डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू वन अपॉन एम डेल एक्स डेल डब्ल्यू एंड एक्स डेल टाइ इक्वल टू वन अपॉन एम डेल एक्स डेल delta e and x delta t equal to 1 upon m del x del delta t are the derivative derivatives derivatives Uh, divided by the uh, airplane's mass mass and if you write this let me define this equation number this is equation number 9 Equation number nine can be written as by the above changes or notations we can write. We can write del del t minus x u del u minus x w del w plus g del theta cos theta naught equal to x delta e delta delta e plus x delta t delta t so this is the uh, equation of the force along the x direction in the long general mission and let me define this equation number 10 so this is basically you can say the uh, linear model of the system uh, because uh, these terms are constant which are part of variable this is also Generally, we are will be assuming this is the no here actually uh, this is constant value this is constant value these are all constant term equation 10 actually the linear equation of the forced equation in the x direction and here we have seen that how the delta u going to change with respect to time and the equation is in linear form because this x z x w these are stability derivatives and z and cos theta naught and x delta e x delta t these are the basically constant for a given flight condition and these stability derivatives we find from the wind tunnel testing so now we'll be moving to the uh, next part of the force equation along z axis and how we can find the linear form of the force along z axis uh, so that part we'll continue from the next lecture Let's stop it here.